Hello, let's have some math fun as we construct an equilateral triangle of 6 cm and later draw a circle touching its vertices. So we are going to construct an equilateral triangle of 6 cm and later draw a circle touching its vertices. I will provide you with a link down in the description column of my channel. Just copy it to your, uh, to your browser after watching this video. Follow me to me and remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell for new alerts on my channel. So, in your uh, math tool, I want to take you through these items that you are going to use. We have the first most important thing is this ruler. Need this ruler is the ruler that you are going to use to measure the 6 centimeters. So you are going to use this ruler to return it where it was. Just click it back. We shall use the protractor. This protractor, they have this, we are going to use it. So return it back. We have it there. We have the pair of compasses. We are going to use it. So it's a handy tool that we need. And I will show you how to use it. You turn it back. We have the pencil. Of course, when you're constructing, you need a pencil. It is our pencil. If you want to do anything, you have to use the pencil. Whatever I've done and I don't need, you just come here, I clear, or I just undo. If I undo, I just go step by step. If I've made some mistakes, or I just clear. If I just clear, the whole content goes. I return the pencil. This is another tool that you are going to use for drawing straight lines, for joining points. Uh, for example, if I draw a line here with it, and I want to join this point with a point at this at this level here, let me put a point here. For example, I want to join this point and this point, I will use this connector here. So I just stand here, pick it, and then I connect like that. Then from this point to the other point, I use the same thing. So this one will help us together with the pencil to draw a line. So these are the ones that we are going to use. This is the thickness of your pencil. If you want it to be very thick, you can choose any of this. If you want to be very thick, use the thickest line. If you want to be thin, use the thinnest line, and so on. So let's get started. We said we are going to construct a equilateral triangle of 6 cm. So math is fun. So let's start having our fun. We pick our ruler, we place it somewhere to the center of the working face. Then I pick my pencil, pick my pencil, here it is. Remember when you are measuring, you start from the zero mark. So I start measuring, I draw a line all the way up to six centimeters. Yeah, there it is. Then after that, I need to remove the ruler. Then I need to call this point A. Our triangle will be triangle A, B, C. So I name that point A, and this one B. So now we are to locate point C. So I write here six centimeters. Our line is six centimeters. So since you have said it's an equilateral triangle, we know the remaining two lines is measure six centimeters. So what I need is to take my compass here, there it is, just place it up here, and then I need to measure the same line 6 cm, then I make a mark upward here. So to use the protractor, I just want you to see what I'm going to do. You can see now it's not stretching up to 6 cm, this. When you're using it, you lock here. This is the place where you lock it. It's now locked. It can't stretch more than, it can't stretch or reduce its radius. So for me to be able to adjust its radius, I have to unlock here. Then after I unlock, I stretch it to give me the 6 centimeters that I wanted. Then after I stretch it to 6 centimeters, I lock it again. After I lock it again, now I want to make a knot up here. So to make a knot here, I need to move this part, not the, this part. This part will remain where it is. The sharp point will remain here. So for me to move, I have to hold it in a place where it's showing this hand, this small hand. But if I hold it here, where it is showing this sign of a circle here, 
it is going to start drawing from this point. I don't want it to draw, so I'm not going to hold it here. Anyway, it's showing this sign, black sign of a uh, circle here. I'm not going to hold there. Because I just want to move it, I hold at this point and I repeat. Make sure after you get the radius you want, you lock it so that it doesn't really change the radius. So I now move it because it's not making any mark. So I need the arc to start somewhere here. So now to make the arc, I'm now going to hold here. This one is my mouse. So I just move a bit, move a bit. Then, so long as it's locked, don't be afraid of that. Make an arc. Now, I need to stand at point B to make another line of 6 cm to intersect with this arc so that I rotate point B. So what I'll do, I'll hold the compass here and then I move it here. Remember it's locked, it cannot change its radius, so make sure that it's locked here. Then I turn the compass holding here, not holding here, because if I hold here, it's going to start making mark. So I just hold here and I turn the compass here. Just move it a bit and it will turn. So I'm ready now to draw the other arc which will intersect with the other arc. So what I will do is I will hold at this point so that I can draw. And there we go. So we have now located point C and point C is where the two arcs meet. So I'm going to remove the compass. Remember to remove the compass is just to click it back to go back to where it was. And then now this is my point C. Now to connect this point and this point, I said there's a connector. We are not going to use a ruler and a pencil. There's a quick way now to connect this point. I'm going to use this connector now. And this connector is just stand at point A. And then I move all the way up to point C. Like that. Then I release the, uh, the mouse. I stand again at point C. I move, drag the mouse drag it all the way to point B. There it is. So we have now triangle A, B, C. And remember it's an accurate one. It's real. It's having the real measurement. So from here now we want to bisect any two lines for us to do a circle touch in this vertices. So we are going to bisect line A, B and line B, C. So to bisect a line, remember, we are supposed to take our compass, take our compass, it's locked, make sure that it's locked, place it at point A, turn it to face downwards like that. Then we need to reduce its size to measure more than half of the radius of line A, B. You know, half is like somewhere here, I've unlocked so that I can reduce the compass now. So half is like somewhere here. So I need to stretch it to be more than half, like somewhere there, towards point B. This is more than half. Then I lock my compass. Always remember to lock it before you start uh, moving it. Then I need to make an arc above here and below here. So remember to make an arc before I make the arc, I must have to move the compass after locking it and after getting the radius that I want. So I move it up here. Then I make an arc by holding here. Make an arc there, make an arc, then I move it down here. There no problem, if you have locked it, it can't change. So now I hold here to make the other arc down here. Very good. So now I need to stand at point B here with the same radius. Then I rotate my compass so that I draw up an arc that will intersect with the other arc. Remember I've locked so it cannot change the radius. So I'm using the same radius that I've used at point A. So now after bringing the compass at this point, now I can hold here and cut an arc that will intersect with the other upper arc. Then now I hold here to move the pencil down. I'm still standing at point B. And then I make an arc that will intersect with the bottom arc here. Now I'm done with bisecting line A, B. So what I need to do is to return the compass here, then get this connector, it's the one I have already. Then I stand at this point, where the two arcs are intersected. I drag and drag and drag up to this other end here. So 
by looking at bisected this line properly because a line bisector, a particular bisector, divides a line two for half and cuts it at 90 degrees. If I place my ruler, you discover that these are three centimeters exactly. And if I measure the degree, you will find that it is exactly 90. So this is a true compass, a true construction tool. It can fit exactly 90. So we have very well bisected that line. Now we need to bisect line BC. To bisect line BC, we repeat the same process as AB. The standard can be, we stretch the compass to be more than half towards C. If I take my compass, standard can be, make sure it's locked. And make sure when you're moving it, you don't hold here because you start holding here, it will start making marks. So you hold with chain in hand. Hold at this end here, slowly. So long as you have locked it, don't worry. Then you check whether it has stretched more than half. You can stretch it more than more. You will get stretched at the other end. You have to unlock the compass to stretch it more. So I stretch it more. Stretch it more. You want to pick at this level here, up to this point. Then I will use that radius, which is more than half of line BC. Then here I need to lock the compass before I make an arc. So in this case, we need arc on this side and on this side. So what I'll do is I'll move the compass towards this end here. But remember that it must be locked. Then I make a knack here. I make a knack. Then I move it to the other side. So long as it's locked, it can change the area. You make a knack there. That is when you are standing at point B. So now we move to point C with the same radius and ensure that your compass is off. Bring the compass down with the same radius. You start at this point, you hold here, cut an arc that will intersect with the other arc, move it to the other side. Don't worry, the it runs here and there, it will still come to where you want it to be so long as it's locked. So we need to make an arc from here. Trying to move away. Trying to move away. So let me try to hold, change its position to look like this. So long as it's locked, don't worry. Standard point C. You don't need to kill it much further like that. So standing at point C, I now need to cut a knot that will intersect with the other arc like that. So after that, you remove the compass, then use the connector to join this bisector. So use the bisect connector, you stand at this point where the axle is intersected, and then just drag up to the other end here. So looking at it, we have bisected this line properly. If I right place my ruler, you'll find that it has, the line has been cut into two cohorts, and it is cutting at 90 degrees, so it's a true bisector. Then from there, to draw a circle touching the vertical, this now has become the center of our circle. So what we need to do is to take our compass, we bring it to the center there. That is the center where the two bisectors are met. Then we reduce the size of the compass, we unlock first until it touches to the vertex, the vertex of one of the triangles. Then we lock it. And before we draw, we can always check whether it can touch the other vertex. Yes, it's touching this vertex here. It's also touching the other vertex. Remember, I've locked the compass. So I've stood at the center where the two bisectors are meeting. Then I take you to touch one of the vertex, one of the particles. Then now I confirm whether it's touching the other. And then now I draw the circle. And wow, there it goes a perfect circle then I remove my compass so the other thing to do is to measure now the radius of the circle so the radius of the circle should be from the center to the circumference 
So I can take this connect and just draw straight lines from the center to the circumference. I need to measure that. So you can either measure directly with the ruler, like this, measure and see how many centimeters it is, and you get it is 3.4 centimeters. And you do the same construction using the uh, the real construction uh, tool, and you find that the answer will be exactly 3.4 centimeters. So our radius, you can write here, our radius. radiant is equal to three point four centimeters. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to click on the uh, notification bell so so that you can be alerted when I'm posting the new the new the new thing. Anything new.